guys. What's happening here, man? Sorry, man. I was just fixing that, dude, for the people so they don't get mad. People were saying uh, in the last few episodes that, like, the couch pillow was messed up. Guys, welcome back to episode 65. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to the landmark episode. We're getting close. I really like. We gotta the do something special. I really like the title of last week's episode. <laughs> well, it's true. It was accurate. I actually didn't even see how well. I meant to check to see how I think well it did. That just was. as good. Better or even. worse, or worse, maybe better even or worse. Question for you: mm -hmm. Is Star Wars Battlefront franchise cursed? No. No. There you go. There you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. <laughs> uh, it is not. Do you want to know why? Yep. Who cares? <laughs> a lot of people. Who plays? For... Bro, that's so weird. People play... I don't know. So, I just want to put things into the broader... Or into a bigger picture here. Because... When... We talk about COD... <laughs> you say that every other part of the game... Besides the multiplayer doesn't matter... The multiplayer is perfect. I wouldn't say the other so parts don't matter. But you can't base the whole Call of Duty off of just the campaign. Or off of just the multiplayer. Or off of just the zombies. I agree. You can't base the whole thing. But mm -hmm. you can still think that something is shit. If part of it's shit. You, know you can I mean? still think that part is shit. Yes. Fair. <laughs> okay. Um, you could say the campaign sucks, but you can't say MW3 sucks. So, uh, yeah, Battlefront Classic Collection dropped, and I haven't seen a single good thing said about it. I'll say one good thing right now. Instant action, perfect. Yeah, I think the, I think the main issue, and it's, it's a little bit different for us because on PlayStation, there has literally been no way to play these games. Mm -hmm. Since the PS2. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I was going to buy it regardless because I wasn't really buying it for the multiplayer. Um, when it's inevitably fixed, I'm sure it'll be fun. Right? I'll hop on. I'll play it. But I was buying I it. I was buying it mainly for the just to be able to play it. But Xbox players and PC players can already play the old version. Mm -hmm. And the old version is just way cheaper mm -hmm. and better. How is it better? Um, well, I also, cause I also thought that the single player was, was nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I was watching the act man's video today about why it's so bad. And he said that There's they they like cut. Missing. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? I don't know, man. That's, but that's not really, you know what else is troubling? I think this developer is also the developer who was in charge of the Knights of the Old Republic remake. So that probably says a lot about why that game was canceled. To be honest, like... All you had to do was change nothing and make the multiplayer servers work. Boom. That's all anyone wanted. And it's hard to say that this is a worse launch than... The other Battlefront 2, the EA one, because that one was, like, crazy. Well, that one was more about money grabs. This one was more about... This one, though, is also... Care. Kind of, this one is also kind of about money grabs, because it's, it's like, well, hey, we're making, this 40, game, we're making yeah. this $40, and 50. we know you're going to buy it. Maybe it's 50 now. It was 40 because PlayStation Plus had a pre-order discount. Mm -hmm. um, on Steam, it was 45 97 yeah, because it was a it was a PlayStation Plus discount, mm -hmm. um, and so this just screams, "We know you guys are gonna buy this game, so we're not even gonna try." Well, did you hear about the servers? That's when why you don't pre-order games. And now, hundred percent. I think this is, I think this is like the biggest because of what you just example. said. When they see their pre-order numbers skyrocket, they're like. We've already broken even. Why well, the are we problem is, any more money on is that are people can refund the game. Money on this? Huh? People can refund the game. How? PlayStation? Can you? PlayStation, you can. 
I won't be able to because the PlayStation refund. I don't think in our case it's worth it. The instant action runs flawless. Yeah, no, I wasn't going to. And again, I, I didn't buy it for the multiplayer. A lot of people did. Yeah, yeah. I would say mainly people who bought it on Xbox and PC would have bought it for the online because they can already play it. I can't play it on the PS5 except for this. And right. so I was going to buy it and play instant action and play the campaign, play Galactic Conquest. Right. Try and go for the platinum. Um, right. I did hear about the servers. Yeah. They had three servers. Yeah. So they anticipated 200 they people. anticipated 200 people were going to play this game on opening night. But that's yeah, the other thing. They saw, if they saw the pre-order numbers... They're just stupid, they just, man. Like, yeah, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's and again, so again, hard to care. since since it launched, a lot of the problems have been fixed. But still, it looks like it. It's still, again, I haven't seen anything good about it. But there was a tweet that I saw um, from someone saying there is a better, more functional Battlefront Two available for you to play right now, and it was EA's. Yeah, and someone quote tweeted being like, "We've come full circle." <laughs> maybe this, this was circle. just a push to get people to the new ba- the new battlefront ea paid these guys to make a crap game to bum everyone out so that they go back and play battlefront 2 ea which they're not gonna do no they might for a day out of like spite <laughs> yeah maybe then they'll be like well, um but yeah i still haven't even <laughs> played it yet well, like, also in the new Battlefront 2, you can't do split screen. You can't. Oh, oh, you're talking about an EA. Yes. Yeah, yeah. In In the classic collection, you can do split screen, but you can screen, only split you can screen, only do screen two. 1v1. In the new one? In classic collection? No, in the old EA oh. one. What? I hey, don't, don't know, screen man. look. Don't screen look. 1v1. Yeah, I don't know. It was... It took me... F- 10-ish minutes, if I even found it, how to do split screen on that. But anyways. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, but like, how do you, how do you just piss off all of the people that want to play your game so easily? Uh, by following the footsteps of literally every single other developer. True. True. Name a game in the last, name five games in the last, we'll say five years Mm -hmm. that didn't have a shit release and, and disappoint literally everybody. Five games in the last five years. So I already know you're going to say Elden Ring and and Ragnarok. Those were the two games I was going to say first. That's why I did. I wanted to say more than one game. Tears of the Kingdom. No. Tears of the Kingdom was extremely disappointing for most of the community. Okay, I didn't see anything bad about that game. Uh, it was good when it first re- released, but if you look at videos now, most people are like, yeah, it was all right. I think most of what you were seeing was like recency bias, but it's like, yeah, the story wasn't really what we wanted. The dungeons still really weren't what we were expecting. The music still really wasn't that good. What? It was just kind of the same thing. Okay. Let me think. I'm trying to think like... Like triple A games? Any. Helldivers 2. Uh well, I guess they had the servers, but yeah. also that's a different that's a different scenario because I don't think anyone Sure, Helldivers. But but we can put Helldivers. It's they, already a they, dead they, game, but Is it? Yes. There's nothing to do, bro. Like it's just another game of just I mean spawning. I'm still, I'm pretty sure it's still like pr- like peaking pretty consistently at tens Maybe. of thousands of people Maybe. playing. On Steam. I've already played the in everything the game has to offer in the first in 10 hours. So. It's so interesting that you would find Helldivers 2 boring but play MWZ so often. I'm, I'm fascinated to how Because that Helldivers hasn't... 2 doesn't even have challenges worth doing with that one log emblems and calling cards and camos and uh, different operators and different guns and different attachments. It's like the only way to do that is by playing is by um, leveling up. With the XP, which mm-hmm. is just play the game, which I did a bunch, and it was fun when I was doing it, and I was like, okay, well, I, I did it all, mm-hmm. and so I would go back if a friend wanted to play, but I beat it all. <laughs> you beat the game. Beat it. You freed the universe. 
Well, I mean, yeah, MWZ is like, honestly, the last time I went into MWZ and actually played like the different, did the different contracts is maybe one out of every 10 time I spawn in. I'm like going to actually do something in that game other than just play the game on repeat. If I was just playing the game on repeat, I wouldn't be playing it. Hmm. Trying to think of other games in the last five years. Red Dead 2 is just outside that. Damn. God of War is just outside that. Shit. Yep. Um, hmm. Now, here's the big kicker. Do we think GTA 6 is going to be a shit launch? My vote is yes. 100%. My vote is yes. There's going to be a million bugs within because it's only going to launch with single player. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a million bugs. It also million. is probably going to be $150. And it's going to be 350 gigs. 100%. Yeah. One game on your console, and yeah. it's going to be so GTA. You're, everyone's going to go to download and say, can't play it. Cool. Yep. Pay it $150, and it's loaded with bugs. Yeah, GTA 6 is definitely not getting pre-ordered. Definitely no. not. And the story is going to be a 10-hour story. I would be surprised if that was the case. GTA well, you could do other things. was super long. But that was 2013, bro, when game companies cared about their games. If GTA 6... Nowadays, it's what's the least we can do for the most amount of money. And the least they can do is make a 10-hour game, which is enough for you to buy it and spend $150 on it. Yeah, and then I you can do the side think... missions. You can do all the side missions. I don't think that's going to be the case. This game's been in development for 14, 15 years. I think there's going to be more than 10 hours of single player like 10 years 11 it's been 10 years since the last game oh, but, but it would have been were... in development hmm. i'm talking about the whole development you think it was developed before gta 5 was released? it would have started you think so yep i don't know man 10 years is week i can look it up 10 years I'll, i mean you could be right but 11 years is a it'll be 12 years it's a long ass time to work on a game to e have even started before that. Okay. I was wrong. 2014. So it's been in development for a decade. Still, though. Hey, your point still stands. Yeah, it's been a long time. Ten years is enough. It's been a long time. But 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 still, I still think GTA 6 is going to be a good game, but I'm but not pre-ordering it. But here's the other thing. How long did they have to make Spider-Man 2 from Spider-Man 1? It came out five years after. Five years. Mm -hmm. That's and a really it was good game. Twenty-five hours of gameplay. That's how long it took me to platinum, roughly. Yeah. Twenty-seven hours, I think. So technically less because because you a hundred percent of the game, you could have a hundred percent of the game before you got the platinum. What I don't know what order you did it in, but I sure did. So all the all the ones that are like. Do oh, I think I did. Do this combo 25 times. Do this combo 25 times. That's not part of the game. That's part of the platinum. Yeah. That's not new. That's not 25 hours worth of content. That's like 20, 20 to 25. Yeah. So I agree that Spider-Man 2 should have been longer. But I'm also not going to sit here and say Spider-Man 2 is a bad game. Or even disappointing. Uh, disappointing, yes. Bad game, no. But... I'll say, I mean, sure, the length was disappointing, but I don't think any aspect of the game, for me, was disappointing. I think the only problem with a really short story like that is I didn't give one single fuck that Harry died. It's he didn't die. Or, okay, that he sacrificed himself He's going to, to kill sacrifice Venom. himself. I really didn't care. Fair. <sighs> Guys just didn't care. Um, Uncharted 1 is like th two hours long, and it's... And I love every second of that. Like, every Uncharted game is not very long. And I think they're all, except for the first one, masterpieces. Right. Uncharted 2 or Uncharted 1 is two hours if you skip all the cutscenes and go as fast as possible. I mean, you could probably beat sure, Uncharted, in Uncharted five hours 2 if you beat all the cuts, if you skipped all the cutscenes and went as fast as possible. Yeah, Uncharted, I mean, Spider Man 2 is definitely longer than the Uncharted games. No, I, I said that five hours. It's definitely longer, but like. If you skipped all the cutscenes and only went for the story as fast as possible, you don't think you could beat it in five hours? I mean, sure, but that's not, like, if... Sure. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying... Yeah, I mean, probably you could beat it quickly. 
I'm just saying, like nobody thought nobody thought Spider Man Two was gonna be that short. Nobody thinks GTA Six is gonna be that short, but as we see from every single other game that has come out in the past few years, almost all of them have been disappointing. So the real kicker is GTA Six is gonna be the game of the game of the decade. But I also don't think length necessarily dictates like length of a main story dictates that how good a game is. Elden Ring, you can beat the main story in six hours. I mean, if you're a god and you barely Jev level. Start, Jev started a new game and beat the whole thing in his latest series in like seven hours, I think. Starting from level one. Yeah, I mean, again, if you know what to do and where to go perfectly, then yes. But I didn't know how to do any of that in Spider-Man 2 and I beat it in 10 hours. But all I'm saying is the length of a game doesn't make it good or bad. I guess, but... If you pay 150 bucks and you get 10 hours of gameplay and you're like, well, that wasn't worth it. Now I'm done. Now I can, now I'm d done, done everything. Sure. I disagree. If the game feels replayable enough, but. Really? I don't know. I just, if want it's a the really, most out of my games. Of course. If it's a really, really polished 10 to 15 hours, I'm happy. Rather than a dog shit 60 hours. Boring 60 hours. I'd much rather have Spider-Man 2 than Starfield. 1,000%. I mean, yeah. I guess. But those are still two. If you had to pick one, yeah, but they're still both disappointing, in my opinion, at least. Sure. It's still a disappointing game. This is a, this is a, this is a, a segment we like to call our not shared <laughs> opinions. <laughs> yeah, like if G, like, like. If I had to pick one, I would rather it be good 10 hours, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't be disappointing. That's just me, though. No, but I, I also get what you're saying because, and we have opposite thoughts on this, too, which is I always get, not always, I usually get upset when a season or series finale is not longer than a typical episode. Mm -hmm. And we've had the conversation before where, where you are you don't think that it should be longer. Well, I I don't think that in my opinion cares cuz it's either it's like do you want to it's like a two-parter or just a one like imagine you got 16 episodes, imagine you got 15 episodes instead of 16 and just the 15th episode was just an hour. But when the like when they release separately then that's fucked. When the when the Clone Wars season series finale came out and it was 22 minutes long. I was like, broski. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That bummed me out so much. I mean, I, I can definitely agree with you on that for the most part. Definitely. Yeah. Because I feel like a season finale just needs to feel like an event, which just inherently I feel like. Yeah. Even if it is technically two episodes, I, I don't want to wait another week. <laughs> just make yeah. the finale feel like a finale event. Make yeah. it a big one. Well, cool. it's just... Yeah, it's kind of the way I look at it is like, I feel like the longer something is in terms of video games and even in terms of movies, the only thing with movies though is that you have to, if you're watching the theater, watch it from beginning to end. So that's why like longer movies for me can sometimes be tough, mm -hmm. but longer video games, obviously you just start and stop whenever you want. And so if you're anticipating a game for so long, you're like, this is going to be awesome. And then they tell the story in like 10 hours and you're like, it's already done. I waited 10 years just to be done. And yeah, I guess the wait time like is also, hours. I guess the wait time also plays into that. Cause if Spider-Man two had come out three years after. Yeah. It would have been like, okay, that's like, that's cool. Yeah. It wouldn't have been, that was a cool DLC, but also COVID, <laughs> <laughs> but also COVID. I think probably, maybe probably fucked that up. I'm sure it did, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. Because they, when was the, the release, or actually maybe COVID didn't fuck it up because the announced trailer for Spider-Man 2 was in 2020, I believe. I remember we watched it really? together at Grenadier. Yeah, I remember. State of play. That must have been, no, that was not 20. Uh, I guess I could have been home for like. It was when we were working summer. at VN together. During COVID. 2020 then, yeah. I think it was, yeah, I think it was the first state of play. So maybe COVID, again, maybe it kind of delayed it. Maybe it delayed it a year or something like that. Who knows? 
I don't know though, because that trailer said 2023 at the end of it. Oh, did it? Yes, it did. I'm almost hundred percent sure it said 2023. Now the, the trailer did come out during COVID. So maybe they foresaw that it was just going to take longer. There is no way anybody foresaw COVID staying around as long as it did. I feel like, yeah, maybe you never know. It could have affected them and made it longer. But hey, I'm playing. I'm replaying Spider Man Two right now, and I'm having a lot of fun. Nice. I heard they updated it. They did. There's a new game plus now. Okay, nice. It's out. It's out. Finally. It's out. Um, I also played God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. Hmm. How was that? You beat it? Yeah, I did. And pretty good. Made the game better or worse? Definitely didn't make it Definitely worse. Better. <laughs> um, Obviously better. I'm not a huge fan of roguelikes um i was really just playing it to have the epilogue of the story Mm -hmm. do you mind if i just i'm not gonna spoil like i'm not gonna spoil the story i don't care the you don't actually fight old kratos Mm. what do you do he's just there yeah you're like away with you away be away i think it's a really good epilogue to Kratos' story, and honestly, after playing this one, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get another Kratos game. I really want one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get one. And also, because of how much it calls back to the original games, I know that initially when you had said this, I was a little skeptical, but after playing Valhalla, I do think that a remake of the first three games in this style would be really good. Mm. I think it would be cool. Yeah. Do you think that they're going to do it based no. on that? Oh, okay. You just think it would be cool. Yeah. I think if they're going to make an Atreus game, it he's got to be older. Much, yeah, I th- much older. I don't want to play as a little boy. I don't think it would be little boy. It might be young adult. Like how young adult? Like Maybe mid early to late t- 20s? Yeah, early to mid 20s, I would think. Okay. That's what I would think. Yeah, I'll play. I'll play that. I'm gonna play it, even if he is a kid. But yeah, I, think it, either, I think it. I think it would be a kid. I think it would be. Yeah. I just don't want Anger Boda to be in it, though. You know, she's definitely going to be in it. What the fuck? She's gonna make she us ride Widowie, on that cow she again. She is gonna be his partner in crime. I will say, replaying God or Ragnarok, that part is pretty boring. But other than that part, I have no. Like the second half of the game is phenomenal i think 2025 needs to be the year of new shit Mm. no more sequels none of that well i'll 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 take a sequel if it's good i won't oh my god i want so gta 6 you're not gonna play gta 6 is gonna be different because it's different it's a different story it's a different location it's a different character it's gonna be on probably a different engine i don't want to see any more I don't want to hear any more about Obi Wan. Mm. Basically, is what I'm saying. I don't want to see any more Spider Man Two. It's just the same game, but more. I don't want to see any more Tears of the Kingdom. Just the same game, but more. I don't want to see any more God of War Ragnarok. It's the same game, but more. Honestly, I don't want that. And those games were fine. I'll play whatever. But if don't it's do fun. it again. Yeah, I'll play whatever if it's fun. I don't want another Last of Us Part Two. It's the same game, but more. Well, Last of Us Part Two has been released, I think, eight times. Yeah, but I just want new engines, new gameplay, just new. That's the one thing that I do like about COD is that every year. So, if Ghost of Tsushima Two comes out next year, you're not going to play it. I would play it. I would be. You'd be angry the whole time. I'd be disappointed. Especially if it just falls under the same thing that the other ones did, where it's like, this is just the same game, but more. What do you want from a sequel? Maybe some new mechanics. Maybe some, like, really cool armor. Really good story with a lot of new characters. <laughs> um, man. Tears of the Kingdom, at least, was just same armor, same weapons, same characters, same enemies, same map. New story, so... but... I don't mean to beat a dead horse, Mm -hmm. but Modern Warfare 3, Mm -hmm. same maps, is not a good part of it. nothing new. 
Uh, the entire game is new. The maps are not new. The entire engine and guns and camos and attachments and movement is new. Mm. But the maps aren't, which is disappointing. Mm. That is the disappointing part because the nostalgia was cool. The maps were fine for the first little bit. And then you're like, wait, these maps are actually hot fucking garbage. And they've released some new maps since. And the new maps are good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got something new for you. Okay. You need an Xbox, though. I don't want to see Starfield 2. Indiana Jones. That might be new and cool. But it's first. Let's hope you can switch. It has third-person elements. You definitely won't be able to switch, but it has third-person elements. third-person elements is going to be the emote when he fucking hits the gritty. 100%. Gritty. And what about when you can buy... I think it's voiced by Troy Baker. That'll be cool. And what happens when the first time you open up the game, they try to get you to buy a rainbow whip or a flame whip? 100%. Yes. So let's be well, honest. You're going to be able to buy new whips, new hats, new clothing for You don't Indy. really see that... In never mind, I forgot Assassin's about Assassin's Creed. Creed. Yes. But that's Ubisoft. That's different. Well, Bethesda kind of started the whole microtransaction thing. But I mean, you're telling me if if Skyrim came out today, they wouldn't have microtransactions Skyrim, in them. Skyrim was the game that started microtransactions. I'm pretty sure. I think Skyrim had the first microtransaction. What was it? It was like horse armor. It's pretty infamous oh. horse armor. It it was the beginning of the end. I don't remember that. I did not play Skyrim like that, but I take your word for it. I mean, I didn't play it like that either. Let's be real. The beginning of the end for microtransactions was the Fortnite Battle Pass. I mean, that was when everything started to get a green. That, yes. that was like the tipping point. That was that was when we just didn't know what was in store. That was like microtransactions were a, a thing, kind of, here and there. Not really, though. Not to the point where it intruded on gameplay. Mm -hmm. And then Fortnite came out with the item shop and the battle pass and everybody saw that success. And they're like, let's just do that for every game. And then, you know, what's a new game also. So this is the problem. It's like, you're rolling the dice when it's new, when it's a sequel of a good game, you know, okay, I'm just, it's going to feel the same, but I know I'm going to just have extended fun with I a mean, new story. Yeah. Yes and Suicide no, Squad. Kill the Justice League? That game's been out and it already is dead. But I'm saying it's a new... That's an example of oh, recently yeah, well, new game. That game sucks. I want something new that's good. Obviously, that's what I meant. Idiot. But what has come out that's new that's been mm, good? MW3. But I would argue that that isn't also new. kidding, man. I don't know. That's why I have that hunger for it. Mm-hmm. You know? What about Modern Warfare 4? Hopefully that doesn't come out ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> At least the new one that's coming out this year is Treyarch, and it's a whole new game. It's not in the fucking mod dumb Modern Warfare series. Is it a new whole new game? Because they did say that they weren't going to come out with a COD every year. Oh, no. They immediately backed out on that lie. And they backed yeah, out. No, that was a lie. Yep. They said it knowing, yo. We already have the next four games uh, in, in line. We're right? just gonna we tell. This. We're we just gonna tell this. them. See what happens. Also, I remember uh, in like the end of season one in Modern Warfare three, some sledgehammer developer something tweeted out, "Yo, y'all don't know we're cooking for MWZ season two. Still not out yet. Yeah, I don't even know what that guy was. I don't even possibly know what that guy was talking about." Because not one single bit of what came out in season two could be considered cooking. Take that guy out of the kitchen, bro. I, don't I don't know cook. what that guy was talking about even. Like, I'm not just trying to be pessimistic. I actually don't know what he was thinking. Like, what he was talking about. I, I would love to know. but We're going to find out in part two. No, we won't. We have him on. We have Podcast. him on in a one verse two. Purrs. Dude, that should be our, our 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 interview series, dude. One verse two. Is that taken? First, we have to interview someone. Ray. Purrs. Ray, get on the show. Interview. Bring yeah, your Ray, Ray Mysterio Ray, mask. Ray, interview. Ray, interview. Ray, 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 Ray Mysterio. Raymond Mysterio. Dude, there's a interview. perfect seat right here for the kid. Purrs. 
Okay, guys, welcome back to part two. Patrick and I finished arguing off the pod. We did a little bit of grinding off stream. Yeah, we were like, dude, dude I really didn't like what you said about Spider-Man really 2. I really don't want any good new games to come out, dude. Patrick wants the same games, but bad. So yes. Like, yeah. Okay. I want Spider-Man 3 to be really bad. Yeah, he wants it Wait, to be the same. Wait, same games, but bad. That's literally Battlefront 2, classic collection. I'm like, oh my God, they God. literally did that. <laughs> That's available right now. It's hard for me to actually get on board with that because I only play it for the incident. No, see, I, I don't. It runs at perfect 60. I don't want to get on board with it either because it, it bums me out. Well, also, like, I like it, it is hard for me to care uh, with the Battlefront one because I, it really doesn't affect me. It really just... The problem the problem with stuff being consistently bad, and, and this is how it feels, like, with the MCU and and, you know seemingly most things that come out with star wars is it just you just want some I, I feel like so much of watching something is just finding the enjoyment in the mediocrity and then just being bummed out when everyone is hating on it i just well <laughs> i'm like that. why can't we all just why can't we all just light something i feel like i, just, I feel like part of the nostalgia of old games was not having to hear everyone else's opinion 100%, on it. 100%. I never thought about that, but it is very true. I think you just play a game that you like. Like the Spider-Man N64, maybe that game is shit. I don't know. I don't hear people ever talking about that game. And I don't give a fuck what they think. Because we played it back in the day. Maybe when that game came out, if social media was as prominent as it is now, maybe maybe people hated that game. I don't know. And I don't know. But we liked it. And I loved it. that's why it's nostalgic. Battlefront 2, the original, when that game came out, everyone, I think, just liked it or found a way to like it because it was a good game. But also, there was no echo chamber of just negativity. Yeah. So, so we all were given the freedom to find our own enjoyment in it. Now. Whereas now the game comes out and this game fucking sucks! Now. Is the argument to be made that games back then were made properly? Um, I you mean, never games know. back then are much worse than games are now. Just objectively, in, right? Because games no, but now I mean, are like better I mean, games. Like, when Battlefront Two released in two thousand seven, mm -hmm. did the servers work? Like, was there was back then? there are as many bugs and glitches to the point where they were like unexpected bugs because back then it was like oh it's 2007 like the technology's not advanced so like mm -hmm. there's bugs like you can't get that mad but now it's like bro it is 2024 and these fucking dumb bugs it just feels like games game companies don't even play test their games definitely not. which is crazy uh, but also, it's really hard to play test multiplayer functions in a game. I don't even think it's that, bro. I think it's like... But not server even server functionality server, is almost impossible to test. Yeah, it is. It is. But I'm saying, like, I watched this video where the guy was talking about Battlefront 2, and he's like, bro, there are glitches in this game that took the community five minutes of right. playing the game to find them. That's are the you not playing this game? Like, it's the same... I, I don't want to always bring it back to MWZ, but it's just the game that I've been playing a lot. It's just that. It's like, don't you play the game like Jedi Survivor? Did you not play this fucking game before Any you Bethesda hit game. Any Bethesda game. Like, it's crazy. Like, when Starfield came out, there was... Cyberpunk. Did you not play this game? No, they did not play that game. Or they played it and they were like, we've delayed this five times. We have to put it out. We'll fix it over the next five years, but we'd have to put it out. That's never the answer, I'll tell you. That's never <laughs> well, the answer. Sometimes it is because they put Cyberpunk out, it was dog shit, and then three years later it won a game of the it won a game award. So maybe oh. it is the way. No Man's Sky, same thing. They put it out, it was dog shit. Years later, they're winning awards. I guess I also don't play those games, so I don't follow that community. I don't know the numbers of their returns. But sometimes it is. You know, sometimes it is maybe just worth it to get a quick buck. And then I just with that money that you got from people who bought your broken piece of shit, fix it over the next few years and then get more people to buy the game when it's fixed. I think the problem with that is that first impressions last. 
Hundred percent. And when Aspire, this game company who nobody knows. Yeah, let me look up what else they've done. Decides to take on Battlefront Two remaster, and they fuck it up. And now every single time Aspire drops something, we're like, we're not gonna pre-order it because that's what happened with. We saw what happened with EA. We saw what, what happened with Battlefront Two. That's what happened with Rocksteady and Suicide Squad. Now, yeah, now, what happened with Rock. I thought you were talking about Rockstar, and I was like, what did they release? But yes, Rocksteady. It's just it starts to break that trust, and it's like. You really, really are only as good as your last game. It doesn't matter. It's just like it's just like your friend stabbing you in the back. Like you're you could have years and years of friendship, of trust, but as soon as they do it once, it's like, well, who's to say they're not going to do it again? Yeah. Who's to say the next opportunity? Because they've done it once, so it's possible. This mm -hmm. is now in the cards. And that's what happened with Rocksteady. That's what happened with EA. That's what happens now with Aspire. That's what happened with, well, now Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. So I Sledgehammer think, is already in the fucking dumps, but. I think Aspire is just, I don't think they're developers who make new games. I think they are strictly, I could be wrong, but I think they're, they're mainly, at least nowadays. They um, just remaster games? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure who's going to be giving them any new projects. I again, I I could be wrong. This list of games is long, though. I just think, but the, they mainly they mainly do ports of um Lucasfilm games. Hmm. So they were probably the ones doing. They ported the Star Rebel Wars: Republic. The Force Unleashed to Nintendo Switch. Did you know that you could buy that on Nintendo Switch? I didn't even know that was available. I, I didn't. I'm not playing it because it's going to run at 25 <laughs> FPS, 720p. They did the Star Wars Episode One Racer, which I will say was perfect. The there game was, was perfect or the remaster was perfect? Both. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, okay. I guess if, yeah. That was a case of definitely that game it ported is better. And I would imagine that playing, because again, I haven't played the... The classic collection you can play it for yet. a bit after if you want it's runs beautifully at 60 fps it's a great game i remember it feels great i don't know who i remember here i heard say this was maybe it was the Ackman's video where it was battlefront classic collection looks the way that you remember it looking like they made it look the way that you remember it looking i mean it basically just looks less blurry the same way any remaster does yeah it re it, every remaster always looks the way you remember it looking. I also like because they, they made... don't like go in and redraw yeah, the yeah. characters. They just rescale it so that it's not as like pixely and blurry. I like that they made Kit Fisto's lightsaber like it is. In yeah, the yeah, it's 2D. Like, it's like wavy. Yeah. Also, does does Asajj Ventures have like nunchuck lightsabers? They're weird. I think she holds one like this and one under her arm. Interesting. Which is, but. In their defense, that these characters have been out since the original. Yeah, one. yeah. like I had only learned that that these those characters were actually <clears throat> DLC for Xbox mm. exclusive when Battlefront Two right. was originally out in two thousand the early two early two thousands. So mm. They're not new characters that Aspire just decided to throw. Yeah, in. yeah, no, no. I wasn't sure if they took like modded characters and put them in. No, I think they were DLC. I know that they were DLC characters, and. I, that's the other thing. I have no problem with Battlefront 2. I have no bad things to say because I'm all I've experienced is good. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's where I think you and I will both stand on it is because I'm in the, it for the instant the, action split the, screen. The modes that we're gonna play are the modes that are perfectly fine and exactly the way that we want them to be. Yeah, I have no problem with this game. I would have pre-ordered it. Well, the pre-order is a different thing because of what it does to the egos of the developers, but I still would have bought it knowing what I know mm -hmm. because it is filling exactly what I wanted it to fill. As a PlayStation primarily, primarily PlayStation gamer, I was going to buy this game no matter what. If it was a hundred bucks, I probably would have bought it. As a primarily PlayStation player, I'm glad that we finally get to play as Kit Fisto. Yippee! I've been waiting for the years that we get that DLC and we finally got it. We finally got it. And guys, now, did you see the latest um, security measure 
uh, issued by the Toronto Police Service to make sure that uh, your car, you are safe. Okay. Um, so the latest thing that the Toronto... Is this the thing you wanted to talk yeah, yeah. about? So the latest thing that the Toronto Police Service have come out with uh, is not how they're going to stop car theft, uh, you know, things you can do, things you can do to avoid it. They're not cracking down on any of that. Instead, their advice is to leave your keys at the front door so that if you get broken into, it's just right there and easy for the thief. And so, guys, as the people who are supposed to serve and protect uh, the community, is that good advice? Bro, where did you even see this? Like, what is this? Oh, no. The Toronto Police Service, they posted it. They're like, hey, guys. I've seen this everywhere for the last week. They, Everybody's making memes about it. Everybody's talking about it. Like, it's real. It's not like a th- Tucker Carlson thing. It's like, it's real. <laughs> The TPS came out and Tucker said Carlson it, Tucker Carlson didn't say it in his one interview in Alberta. Bro, they said it. The TPS, like, it's from the, it's from the horse's mouth. Mm. Is that an insane way to protect your community? Listen, they're working smarter, not harder. That's crazy to me. <laughs> they're like, guys, we're kind of getting sick and tired of these guys, 911 calls. Guys, we're kind of tired today. Just, we don't want you guys to get hurt. Just give them your keys, man. Well, true. Are you yeah. guys going to do anything about it? We're not going to do anything about it. We don't care. Leave them your key so you don't get hurt. And then, therefore, we're not uh, in charge. I'm also confused about, like, the mindset behind that. All right, so is the assumption that most car thefts are happening at, happening at night? And, like, break-ins and so that they're stealing their, so are they, stealing their keys. Do they think that people keep their car keys in the bedroom? I mean, that's a good point, too. Like, where do they think they're keeping their keys? And And if the theft is happening during the day, having them at the front door wouldn't change anything because you're just in your living room and then there's a bozo in there with you. And and also, why is that? Car keys in the front. I left them there for you. Oh, yo, buddy. Buddy, hey. Hey. No need to come in. I got car keys for you right here. Peace, brother. There's also a $25 McDonald's gift card. And there's there's uh, some mints at the front, too. Yeah, if you want some of that. Uh, Why is the advice that and not... Buy yourself a goddamn sword. See, so that's what I did. I think it's a gun. We should be arming more Canadians. This is what we should do. This is what we should do. Guns that, are legal. Guns are legal. Okay. But the same way they are in the States, but... If they legalize guns, we might get a GTA in Toronto. But you can't bring them outside your house. Hmm. So if someone comes in, you could stay fucking strapped up. <laughs> You're mounted. You got the insane you got Rainbow head. Six Siege you're angle. You're just able to set up an insane head glitch. You just you're head glitching the fuck out of your front door. <laughs> Dad. Oh shit! You got a silencer on that mug. Front door, front door. Ami, ami, Dad. Ami, ami, ami. <laughs> you get silencers. You, you can customize your gun like it's COD. But as soon as you leave the house, if I could, if I could do no. that, I'm getting one of the. I'm getting a sniper rifle, long barrel massive or like a shotgun with a long barrel and a <laughs> silencer. And a silencer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's the way this is what you do. You put, this is possible, you put trackers on every single gun. You register each gun to your name and well, we already have trackers. your address and your address. We already have trackers. No, but I'm saying the gun, they need to know if the guns, legal. right? No, that's fair. That's fair. So they don't know what tra- you do is, you know, in the futuristic movies where it like bio print, it like re- scans your bio fingerprint so that name one movie it's done that in. Okay, I can't name a movie. <laughs> okay, but Tom I'm, Cruise is I'm, Oblivion. I'm thinking of. Oh my god! I'm thinking of one where, I'm thinking of a movie it's and fine, I can't. Bro. I was trolling. I'm sure it's. I in can't a movie. think of what the movie, but you can't shoot the gun unless it, unless it reads your specific. Oh, bio print. I mean that would be cool. So that way, so that way, that your your gun is directly connected to the the five G chip in your arm. And so where you, it, it can only fire within proximity. So it knows where you, this and is then, what we do. This is what we do. We I get rid of privacy laws when it comes to 100%. crime. Cause fuck those people. What do you mean by that? So I know that in the past there has been debate over whether, uh, it's breaking human rights to use like 
third party information or like fingerprint information to find criminals. Hmm. Even if they haven't like, even if the criminal hasn't like agreed for that information to be shared. Mm -hmm. So it's like an argument of like, is that a breach of human rights? I Mm. think fuck that guy. (laughs) Don't break the law. Then it's simple as that. Don't do it. Um, so we get rid of those kind of privacy laws. Okay. You register when you buy the gun, you register with your fingerprint Mm. and your government issued ID. It was Hobbs and Shaw. Awesome. I never saw that movie, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have been able to help you. I'm glad that you got there, though. They couldn't. And I'm glad that you're thinking of that instead of listening to what I was saying. They could hack. They So in the final battle, they Oh, so like, then they just hack it. They hacked. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. They went, I'm in. And they hacked that shit, and then none of them could fire their guns. So okay, that way they so, could all hand-to-hand, and Roman Reigns could hit that guy with a spear. Let's and run he wouldn't get mowed down Because I process. need to elevator pitch this. Okay. For so when I send these clips to Trudeau. Okay. Okay. He's going to go for this. He's going to go bananas for these, for this. So you get rid of the, he's going to up the laws. carbon tax though. Yeah. yeah. He's going to lower, gonna say, he's yeah. going to lower the privacy up the carbon tax. Well, they need to make and ship guns now. Oof, that, that's going to be high. Think of gun tax. Gun tax. Dude, is think about how crazy. much money Trudeau can make off of gun tax. Wait, so he's just militarizing the population. Yes. So okay. then when inevitably world war three happens, we already have guns. We get drafted with our guns. <laughs> Is that a good idea? It's like an animal. You have to raise you 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 choose you, your gun. You raise it to kill. And you ri- This is gonna get this is gonna get flagged. This is gonna get demonetized. This is gonna get demonetized. Okay, fudge. so this is what you do. This is oh, fudge. let's run it back. Let's run it back. Okay. So you get rid of the privacy yep. laws that will now allow um police to do whatever to take whatever information they want to find a criminal. Okay. So that's that you register with your government ID and your fingerprint. When you buy your gun, Mm. every single gun comes equipped with a tracker that you also, uh, you also have to, um, like register to your address. Mm. So it knows if it's, if it leaves that address, then right. Then then immediately like it's a, it's like immediately it raises all of your neighbors get a little buzz and it's like hunt. Yeah, exactly. It's like exactly. something but they happened. Can't, but then they can't leave their houses. No, they get a 24 hour. It's like the oh, it's purge. Like the purge. They get a 24 hour. They get a 24 hour window to find but what's, you. what's okay. The problem with that though is what's stopping them from killing each other at that point. I think what we need to implement is like in suicide squad where you have everyone who buys a gun then also has a bomb implanted into their skull. So that right. way, if the gun leaves the premise, their head just in like a millisecond, like the second it leaves the premise. Mm, no, it gives you like a no. It no. gives you a window. No, no, don't leave the premise with your gun. Then fair enough. It's simple as that. You don't want to die. Don't bring your gun off your. It's that simple. Guys. So what happens if you have beef with your neighbor and both of you prop your doors open and you just like? That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How about <laughs> settle that with Nerf guns? So I think I think the I think the tracker idea is good, but you do have to have there has to be a serious immediate consequence. Death. And that is the bomb exploding yeah. in your head. Yeah, because okay. I agree. You can't you can't count on the police to show up quick because then you'll you'll still they have want time you to, to leave a killing spree. They want you to leave your car keys at the front. Right. Right. How about just guys, if somebody breaks out of their house with a gun, just uh leave your car keys at the front. Mm-hmm. And so I think my idea would work and I think Trudeau would go for it because think about it. You could just tax people for guns, but the taxes are so damn high right now, but that's why Trudeau is going to love it. They're even higher than, Oh, I see. So then they go into an either higher debt. So the population's not going to like it, but Trudeau is going to love it. People will leave that as well. So then, then once people leave and they're like, Oh, it's just like America. Like there's going to be mass shootings, even though there won't be, but people won't think it through people leave. The housing market comes down, and so does just inflation. Mm. And so then, then for, then for the carbon tax comes down as well. And guys, I'm running for prime minister. <laughs> and guys, on and this guys, platform of can guns, can you vote for me? Would you? I think it's a good idea. Comment down below what you guys think of that idea. Comment down below or send Ethan a text. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> there's no way you. Can, there's no way. 
I think that's just a good idea, and it's and you can't <coughs> say that that's uh, like pro guns because like I'm all, I that you could only use your gun in that sense in self defense. <coughs> Yeah. Like, you could never use it. There would never be the possibility for, like, malintent. Still dangerous, though. Because what if someone breaks into your house and ha and takes your gun? Uh, leave it at the front door. But then they take your gun and leave your house, and then your head explodes. Leave the gun at the front door. Okay. <laughs> so, then they, so then they don't have to accidentally injure you to find your gun. How about then keep your gun by your fucking somewhere safe, dumbass? What about friendly fire? In what world? You're spooning. You have the gun under the pillow. Take it out from under the pillow. You go, this spooning session is so great. <laughs> it's so <laughs> great. He does that in a spooning. It's and, it, and it. Here's a solution. Fires. Here's a it, solution. It, it discharges into Here's your partner's solution. cranium. Here's the solution. Keep it anywhere else than under the pillow. Than under thine pillow. Mm. Keep it in your bedside table. Keep it. People, I don't like think this. that's the problem because finger on the trigger, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it would be tense up at night. Finger on the trigger. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, <laughs> tense. What kind of guns? Like any? Like what? No cap? No cap. You could like, it could be decked out like a red dot sight silencer, four grip, extended mags. Damn. Quick draw. You get quick Uzi? draw. Uzi. What about a Kimbo? Sure. Laser sight akimbo. Honey, what's that? Honey, what's Someone that? stealing the keys? <laughs> <laughs> Holy Insane. moly. Insane. I think that would be dope, but then but then it's like because <coughs> then to what you were saying, what if they break in and try to steal your gun and shoot you with it? Who in their right mind, knowing anybody might have a death machine behind the next door, would even try to break into anyone's house? Here's another thing that I just thought of. Okay. What if we get into a sniper shootout with the... Like, what if someone gets a sniper rifle and starts just sniping people from their apartment? Then everybody wants them dead and immediately... But they can't take their gun out of their place. Well, then they start firing from their place. What Same if they all the have what if they only have Glocks? Should have invested on a fucking ACR then. So I think I think you need a cap. No. Hand okay, guns. no no guns. <sighs> okay. Okay. I like that idea. Only swords. What about this? But we ditch the it. what about this? We ditch the guns, we ditch the swords, we put the brain bombs in and make everyone stay inside. Down. Are they still releasing video games? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm Work from home. Yeah, I'm down. And DoorDash still exists, but it's drones. Yeah, but it, no, it's like Tesla autopilots. Yeah, yeah. Or drones, like whichever one. Yeah. I'm actually down for that. <clears throat> so we all just stay inside. Yeah. I do that anyways. Exactly. Okay. Because then that way. But I also want my ACR with quick draw and extended mags. And... <laughs> well. You're going to have to. So how do I, how do I create a, a world where, how about this? You guys vote me in as prime minister. And then, yeah. And then I make a law that allows only me to have that gun. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a fine person. So you guys can trust me with that. I would never do anything, but just know that I have, this is the implication. Now I would never do anything with it, but I could, if I wanted to, and therefore no crime would be committed I would never do anything, but they would never commit a crime because of the implication. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm guys, board. we just solved world hunger. I think just like that, because then I would hold people up at gunpoint and say, give, share your food, share, share your money. And guys, we're going to leave you. Give me some of that sweet shed. And guys, we're going to leave you with a little bit of a thought starter here. So if, there were monkeys in a zoo and one of the monkeys was hoarding all of the bananas for themselves. Okay. And not letting, not sharing any of them. Mm -hmm. Scientists would study that monkey and think what's wrong with this guy and how, why is he doing this? Why, what's how wrong do we with avoid this bonobo this? ape? Yeah. How do we avoid this? And yet when that happens in society, we put him on Forbes 30 under 30. Mm. So guys think about that. 
uh, at home tonight while what you're is the first dinner. 30 stand okay. for 30 million <sighs> Holy I actually moly. did look it up uh, I think it's like a th- a top list of 30 people who are under 30 who have achieved something good that year oh so it's not so like 30 people under 30 I think I see <clears throat> that makes sense but guys think about that 30 million home. under 30. If we saw this out in the wild, we would think, what are they doing and study them? And yet in society, we put them on Forbes. But guys, think about that. Yeah. I mean, listen, there's no world where I don't agree that infinite wealth like that is just ridiculous. And that's why we should have guns. Dude. In our homes. Careful. In our homes. In our homes. Okay. Okay. Because then of the implication, that's why each prime minister should have their own fully decked out gun. I would just have the Eddie Raja gold deagle. That's why you'd lose. But I'd look sick though. But you'd be dead. And I'd be like, Eddie Raja! And I get I get the RPK with the bypass. Can I get an RPG? Sure. Infinite ammo glitch? No, no. It's still real life. <laughs> oh, shit. So I have to go and buy rockets. Yeah. From ammunition. Could I Amazon the rockets? Sure. Like, does Amazon deliver ammunition? Sure. Amazon? Dude, I just thought of Amazon. That. We're starting that. Holy moly. Okay, I got to get the trademark on Amazon quick. Before this goes live. Yeah, I got to do that quick. Because that's actually genius. Door delivery for your bullets <laughs> uber shoots <laughs> and they and deliver guns and ammo no that's a hit that's a hit man ordering yeah instead of ordering a oh, car uber to pick shoot. you up yeah. you order a drive-by yeah <laughs> yo yo get this guy pull up on this address and open fire 100 <laughs> percent. this is the address where uber is the address you put in the address you want to be at Uber shoots, you put the address and you don't want to be, you do mm-hmm. not want to be where that fucking shit pops off. So do not fuck up that do. app. Make sure you're on the right app. Do not put your address in Uber shoots by accident. Definitely don't put your information in. Um, make sure you're on the right one. But we're not going to give any indication <clears throat> on either of the apps because, well, one's illegal. So we have to disguise it as Uber. Hmm. So it's like a, if you know, you know, if you accidentally download Uber shoots and you order a killing. <laughs> In your house. <laughs> sorry to say. Order killing. The fittest. Ordered. I'm sorry to say. Oh, shit. I ordered fittest. it to my house. We have to get out of here. Quick. Will I meant to up? put in my I order for Am- Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. I meant, to, I meant to order more ammo, dude, for my RPK with the bipod mount. <laughs> and the 100-round drum magazine. Man, that's insane. Just saying, you wanted a gold deagle. We should go to a shooting range. No. Yeah. I'm down. Dude, they're fun. Not in Florida. Definitely not in the States. Definitely in Florida. 100% in the Florida. But I want to Because I'm pretty sure you can... That's the thing. With the chainsaw gun. Like, the you know, the gun that you hold like... Yeah, yeah. The Vulcan, the Nerf Vulcan. I'm pretty sure they got mounted turrets that you can go down in Florida or Texas. Yo, I definitely don't want to do that. Dude. Dude. In Canada, it's still a rush. No automatic weapons, though, in Canada. So if you want to fire an automatic nerf, weapon, right? And you get nerf guns. Okay. That's awesome. But if you want automatic weapons, you have to go down to the U.S. No automatic weapons. Or be in the military. the military. Yeah. Or the police. But what if I start shooting it like this, like paintball? Then you're going crazy. <laughs> Then they're, they're like, like this dude's get, fucking cracked. Somebody get this guy a medal. Yeah, they're like, this guy's cracked. He deserves a medal of honor. And guys, let us know what gun you would guys, get. Guys, let us know if you'll be voting for me for prime minister because my gun laws would be the best gun laws. Purse. Purse. No guns. Disclaimer, no guns. No guns. No drinks. Can't no drinks, drinks. No guns. Just harmony. No guns, but guns. Peace. Love. Happiness, purse, purse. love, love, happiness, happiness and, and purse. purse. Guys, could you have seen that coming from a mile away? 